again. Your nickname. Breakfast. And where you live. We are outdoors today. Dingers in the house, had a boy, mom and dad in the house, Fitbit, catching kitty, checking in, oatmeal for breakfast. You feeling that beat dugout mugs? Yeah. Dugout mugs, I'm going to get you those addresses of those ball players that won the trivia contest. Had a boy to you, dugout. Good morning, Judge Junior. Had a boy. Come on in. Close out bats. Uh, very, very good question. The neighbors, uh, they're okay with it. The, my next door neighbor is also a drummer, so uh, that works out. And then these neighbors here, they've been doing construction for about two straight years. So we all just abide by the rule that sometimes it's noisy. Um, but we're all good. Fantastic. Welcome in, everybody. Monday morning PE class. It is nine o'clock on the Monday. I brought out my my Rod Carew bat, signed by Rod Carew. Can anybody tell me what year was Rod Carew inducted into the Hall of Fame? What year was Rod Carew inducted in to the Hall of Fame? Thumbs up, close out, bats. That was a great podcast, by the way. If you haven't listened to the podcast with me and Mad Max at Close Out Bats, please do so. That was awesome. He's got a great New Jersey voice. 1990 is close. He actually wrote it right here. He wrote it right on the sweet spot for a left-handed batter, right there on the sweet spot. Wasn't 1990, it was 1991, HOF 91. Uh, in case you're wondering, it, it, when ballplayers sign their autographs, um, if they're in the Hall of Fame, they always put their name and then HOF and the year. If they're a World Series champ, they'll uh, also put that, WS, and then the year they won the World Series. For Babe Ruth, uh, it, the, the, you ran out of room with all the World Series that he won. Welcome in, everybody. Come on in on a Monday morning. Go tell your friends to get going. Let's get this week started. I 
As always, I think it's good to start with a little march. Start with a little march here. Knees up. Get it going. Just marching our way. I don't know if you guys heard, but it's, uh, you guys know what today is? It's the best day of your life. That's right. Best day of your life today. Yesterday was the second best. Hope everybody had a great Easter, great family weekend. We, uh, we, we went to Arby's. We were going to have Arby's for Easter, but Arby's was closed. So we got pizza and sushi. Puppy Pro, Fireball in the house. Sportsmanship salute. Keep marching. And when you march, get those knees all the way up to the waist. Right there, right there next to the belly button. What is the scientific term for the belly button? How about that trivia question? Scientific term for the belly button. Starts with an N. Fitbit, do you know? Catching Kitty? Judge Jr.? That's right. Dugout Mugs gets it correct. It's the navel. The navel. That's right. Again, congratulations to our trivia winners from last week. You will be receiving a dugout mug from Randall. He's going to put your favorite team on that mug and ship it to you. Three claps. One, two, three. Arms high. Show off the armpits. Sniff the armpits. <sighs> ah, smells like Georgia. Touch your toes. Don't pick your nose. That's it. Spread it out wide. Smell your left patella. Smell the kneecap. Sniff it like a dog sniffing a trash can. <laughs> Smells like cat food. Switch! <laughs> mm. Smells like macaroni and cheese, side to side. Nice and smooth, side to side. This is that time of the morning, parents, uh, text a couple of friends. Say, hey, Coach Ball Game's entertaining my kids for an hour. Uh, why don't you do the same? Drink your coffee in peace. Email them. Share it on Facebook. We know from experience trying to homeschool our daughter that it's nice to have an hour to do the dishes or just chill out and drink some coffee in peace. Absolutely. Picking strawberries ready exercise. One, two, three, clap. 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 On your Beehawkus. Butterflies. Good to be outside today. Rained all week in California last week. Butterfly, butterfly. Make a V, touch your left, phalange. Good job, folks. Try to get both hands out to the phalange. Oh, my lanta. Switch. Both hands to the right phalange. And both hands to both phalanges. Great band, by the way. Both Angies opened up for Crosby, Steels, and Nash back in the 70s. Great band. Modeling pose. Left leg out, right foot across. Twist and look behind you. If your back pops, make sure you say, Oh, my Lanta, with fervor and vigor. Oh, my Lanta. And hug that knee into the chest. I love you, knee. Now sing me your knee. I love you forever, Desperado. I've never sang Desperado to my, I don't. Hug that knee into the chest. Sing a song to the other knee. Hold my knee. See, that's what Hootie and the Blowfish should have sang. Downward facing dog. 
Oh, yeah. Now get those heels to the ground. Heels to the ground. That's it. That's it. Now donkey kick. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Other leg. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Do it again. Other leg. Yeah. Donkey. Kick it. Kick that fly. Other leg. Kick that bumblebee that's buzzing around your toe. Plank position. Hold it for 15, 14. Straight back. 12, 11, 10. Breathe in through your nose. Slowly out your mouth. Your stomach should be hurting. Hold yourself up with your core. And upward facing dog. Arch that back, cobra tie. Half moon. Half moon. And switch. That's it. And up to your feet. Hustle salute. In case you're just joining us, welcome to the best day of your life. Fantastic. Freeze. Faster. Freeze. Faster. Freeze. Make sure your shirt's tucked in. Really tuck it in there good. Nice and snug. Woo. Nice. 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 Hustle salute. Freeze. Fast as you can. So fast that it that it almost makes the people in your room dry heat. Whoa, that's fast. Freeze. Three claps. One, two, three. Arm circles. Start small. Get a little bigger. Real big. Go backwards. A little bigger. Real big. And hug yourself. Ah. Love it. Move the neck around. Yep. And switch other direction. And see it like you're playing Uno and somebody does the switch card. Switch the directions. Twist your back. Anybody playing Uno these days? I am reading a lot more books and playing a lot more Uno than usual. Flamingo. White Ninja is in the house. And a boy. Switch. Elijah the drummer in the house. Lots of Uno uh, for Fitbit and Catching Kitty. Ten jumping jacks. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Team meeting pose. One knee down. Be honk as high. Shoulders back, balance a cup of milk on your head with uncomfortable what? Eye contact, that's right. Let's give each other 15 seconds of a staring contest. Go! Nice and quiet. Listen to the birds. Don't burp. Don't laugh. Don't sneeze. And stop. Round of applause. Very good. Eye black salute. Mustache salute. Beard salute. Mullet salute. Brad Pitt salute. Bounce back salute. Somebody falls down and they get back up. Scholar salute. Somebody answers a trivia question correctly. Eagle salute. Somebody's flying out in the outfield and diving for balls. Double bicep. Triple bicep. Quadruple bicep. Bravery. Leadership. And my favorite, sportsmanship salute. Two minute jog on your marks, get set, go. <sighs> running in place, running up the stairs. Confetti and his little brother recently relocated to Tennessee. Mustache salute. I've been to Tennessee. Love it there. Yeah, the hair's getting pretty long. Can't get a haircut during the corn oatmeal for breakfast right there. Keep jogging. 45 seconds down. Where are you running? Through the house? 
were you jogging? I almost stepped on a snail while I was jogging. Didn't do it, didn't do it though. Dodged the snail. Dodging Snails, another great band. They opened up for James Taylor back in the 60s, late 60s. I think they were at the Troubadour. 20 seconds remaining. If you're wondering what's coming out of my mouth, it's called verbal diarrhea. It just comes out as soon as I wake up. My wife loves it. Especially at 5 a.m., I just talk. Just talking. Five, four, three, two, and stop. Water break trivia time. By the way, as you're getting your water, baby ball game drew this this morning. This is our theme of the week. What does it say? For my Facebook, Instagram viewers, it's backwards. White Ninja was jogging and laughing. Thank you very much. You must be very smart to be laughing at my jokes. Two bulls running around the house. Love it. What does this say? Our theme of the week. On YouTube, it looks normal. But Instagram and Facebook, it looks backwards. I get it. Any ideas? Type it. You got to type it. Spread joy is correct. Puppy Pro came in just in front of the Firestones there. Uh, spread joy. There's a lot of tough times out there, folks. So we as ball players, we're different, right? When everybody else is down and out, we pick them up. We pick them up, pat them on the back, say, hey, you can do it. I believe in you, right? So we're going to spread that joy uh, in wherever we go. Drink some water, chugging contest. Type it to me, folks. What is a way you are going to spread joy today? Holton Family, Puppy Pro, Firestones, Judge Jr., Super Henry. What's a way you are going to spread joy today on this Monday, which happens to be the best day of our life? Drink a little more water. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. I wait with utter anticipation as you type. All right, the Holtons are going to mail letters to their grandparents. Sportsmanship salute. That's Lime Stewartson. Uh, remind me the other two nicknames. Lime, is it Dodger, Dodger Smidge or Cooper Smidge? No. Yes, maybe. Uh, White Ninja is going to hug his family. I love it. Puppy Pro and Fireball made a compliment box for each other, and they put notes in it throughout the day. You talk about something smart. Scholar salute, guys. What a great thing to do with your brother and your sister. Make a little compliment box, and then throughout the day, Put some compliments in there. Confetti says he will wave to the neighbors on a walk. Double bicep salute right there. And a wave salute. Yes, Dodger and Cooper smile. Fantastic. Anybody else doing any kind of spreading joy activities? Catching Kitty and Fitbit are going to the uh, mail origami creations to family. They are going to mail origami creations. Artist salute. Paintbrush salute right there. Very nice. Uh, Dominator said he will be nice to his parents. Mustache salute. Great stuff. Awesome. Thumbs up. Get your four cones, your four bases out, folks. Four cones. One, two, three, four. Get them out. I got home. I got first base. I got second base. I got third base. All right, kiddos. 
you're at home and start going jumping jacks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go for 20 seconds. At each base, we're doing an activity for 20 seconds. Fielding a ground ball or you're, you're bumping a volleyball or you're playing defense in basketball. And then up. 20 seconds at each base, rocking and rolling. Thank goodness my shirt's tucked in. And second base, back to jumping jacks. Two, three, four. Stay on your toes. If you land on your heels, your head wiggles around like a dolphin. <laughs> splash, splash. <laughs> splash. We don't want to wiggle. And third base. Back to body squats, the bee honk us down. 90 degrees is ideal. If anybody knows what 90 degrees means, it's not the band. They were a great band back in the day. And back to home. And your jumping jacks, 20 seconds. Tim, very good. Back here. Polka. Cha. Polka dance. 20 seconds. Polka. Oh, yeah. Polka. And second base. Sit ups. Touch the ground. Touch your toes. 20 seconds. Don't forget to breathe in through the nose, out the mouth. That's it. That's it. And very good. Third base, polka. Polka dance. That's it. Keep the polka going. Seconds. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Hands touch the ground. Hands touch the toes. That's it. That's it. And water break. Very nice. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Fantastic. Great. Great job. Chugging contest. Go. Now, you guys did so good on that last one that this next time around the bases, I'm going to roll with a different hat. Back to home. All right. First base. Push ups. One, two. And second base. Floss dance. Twenty seconds, a little faster. And third base, push ups. And home, floss dance. And stop. Very good. Round of applause. You guys earned that right there. You earned it. Okay. I might have to do some other silly stuff if you guys stay with me, if you keep earning it. Um, so, quick water break. And uh, think of something nice you can say to one of the people in the room. And go ahead and do that.
Remember, the theme is spread joy. So go ahead, say something nice to somebody in the room there. Very good. That's it. Very nice. And grab your ball. Tennis ball or a sock or a balled up piece of paper if you need. Home plate. Start it under your right armpit and start running in place. That's it. Now, as soon as you get to first base, one-armed jumping jacks. Keep that tennis ball under your armpit. Second base, switch over to the other armpit. Other armed. That's it. Very good. Now switch it over here. Left hand to the right toe and up. Boom. Yes. Boom. That's it. Oh. Hello. Yeah. And home plate. Switch. And very good. Now you've got your ball. Dribble it to first. Switch it over to the other hand. Dribble it to second. Switch it over to the other hand. Dribble it to third. Switch it over to the other hand. Dribble it home. And speed jumping jacks. Fast as you can. Faster. 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 Come on now. On your toes. Don't let your head move. Hope your shirt's tucked in. Yeah. And freeze. Team meeting pose. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Now, I need a little interaction here. So I need you to give me some ideas. What can we do to make this next circuit a little more interesting and maybe more challenging? Give me some ideas. Maybe we balance a ball on our back while we try to do push-ups. What is something we could do to uh, make this next circuit a little more challenging? Get you some water. I'm sure you're sweating. Firestones, any ideas? Puppy Pro? Who can be creative here and give me something? What's an idea? Creativity is what I'm asking for. Chug your water, chugging contest, gulp, gulp, gulp. Knott's Berry Farm in the house, welcome. We've got a little trivia question for you during our water break, Knott's Berry. Uh, what is a circuit we can do, home first, second, and third, that, uh, that can be challenging. Ooh, confetti says squat jumps. There we go. So at first base, we're going to do squats into a jump. Love that. Fitbit said, uh, Fitbit said the catching kitty kisses. So at second base, we're going to act like a kitty and we're going to kiss something. Whew. Okay, that's very interesting. And then at third base, balance a ball on your boat. Home plate, folks. Creativity salute, by the way. Creativity salute for the three at first base. Boom. Let's go to first base. Squat and jump. Squat and jump very high. 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 Now second base. Act like a kitty cat that's kissing something. Blah. Purr. Meow. Mwah. Okay, third base, balance a ball on your back while you're doing a push-up. That's it. Balance that ball. Don't let it fall. That's it. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. That's it. And boom. Hold plate. Speed jumping jacks again. Fast as you can. Faster. Faster, fast, who, ha, he, fast, who, he, yes, yes, and stop. Very nice. 
Great job with your circuit training, mustache salute, beard salute, double bicep, and a smile salute. All right, guys, two minutes of what a ball player does activity. Clean up your room, make your bed, do the dishes, uh, whatever that you can do to make other people say, wow, that kid is awesome. Go do it. Two minutes starts now. As always, I'm going to sweep the floor. Let me know what you're doing. What is your two minutes of what a ball player does activity? What is your two minutes? Do let me know. Ooh, I like it. Jacob, no, we'll be using that one next time for sure. Great job. Squat jumps while holding a ball in your hand and changing pitching grips between jumps. I love that one too, Elijah Drummer. Creativity indeed. One minute down, one to go. Thirty seconds remaining. Come back with your notebooks. Puppy Pro is cleaning the living room. Fitbit catching kitty or putting the laundry away. White Ninja is fixing the chess board. By the way, I love chess. It's my favorite board game, and it's not even close. What's Knott's Berry Farm doing? What's Jacob Knoll doing? What's Elijah the Drummer doing? What's uh, the Firestones doing? Judge Jr., what are you up to? Speedy, White Ninja, what are you guys doing? Elijah's cleaning the room. Love it. Keep it up. Confetti, what are you up to? And stop. Very good. So if you don't have your notebooks, go get your notebooks. If you don't know what I mean by name of this next segment to the seven, because these are seven hand-eye coordination drills that we're gonna be doing, okay? But first, Puppy Pro and Fireball got me thinking. That's a pretty cool idea, writing compliments to each other. So with your notebook, on your piece of paper, you are gonna take 60 seconds and write a compliment to somebody in the room, or maybe somebody in your house. Oh, at a boy, Todd Perry from the Pujols Family Foundation. At a boy, thanks for joining, Todd. Loving your music. Keep playing those musical tunes. All right. So, write that down. Sixty seconds. Go. I am writing my compliment right now to Mrs. Bogey. And once you write your compliment, give it to that person or an add-a-girl challenge with them. Confetti cleaned up the workspace. Firestones made their bed. Outstanding stuff. Boom. My compliment is done. Have you guys written your compliments to somebody in the room? Very good. Have you done your attaboy or your attagirl challenge with that person? Very good. Once you're done with that, drill number one, high five the sky. I'm a baseball glove for this drill. Very good. 
But again, the theme of our week, spread joy. We just did that by writing that compliment. Somebody was asking, what's an attaboy challenge? It's when you look at somebody and you say attaboy to that person or at a girl, if they're a girl, and then they yell it back louder. And then you roll, you yell it back even louder and you just keep going back and forth and get louder and louder. Very simple game, but it spreads a lot of joy. Great job. Confetti cleaned up the workspace way to go. Uh, all right. High five the sky drill. I'm going to use my glove and a tennis ball. You can use a sock or a ping pong ball or a balled up piece of paper on your marks. Get set. Go. Toss it up. High five the sky. Meet, squeeze and freeze. This is our routine. Every single class we do these seven. And I'd love for you guys to graph your data. What does that mean? Graph your data. Anybody know? We started doing these seven drills about three and a half weeks ago. So we've probably done about 25 of these e-data. By the way, this is class number 35. Awesome, awesome, awesome. When we get to 50, we're going to have a party. 10 seconds left. We're going to throw a party when we get to class number 50. That is for sure. And stop. Very good. Write that number down. Okay? Write it down. You've got your notebook, and you've got seven different columns. Column number one is high five the sky. Column number two, wall drill. On your marks, get set, go. Don't forget to step towards the ball. If the ball's over here, I step this way. If the ball's over here, I step this way. But I'm always keeping my fingers up to the sky. Elbow down, meet, squeeze, and freeze. Don't swat at it like it's a fly. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. How about that? I instantly feel fingers to the sky, see the ball all the way in. This is how you become more brave by doing this drill. Become more brave. That's it. And stop. Very good. Write that number down. That's you throw the tennis ball up against the wall, and you try to field it. Just like that. Just like Ozzy Albies or Derek Jeter or Justin Turner or Chris Bryant or Javier Baez or Francisco Lindor. Go! Alligator. Alligator. Move those feet. Shuffle those feet. Stay on your toes like a mongoose or a hyena. Hyenas are very, very quick. I noticed that during watching uh, the movie Lion King. They are very quick-footed. So you've got the feet of a hyena and the upper body of a kangaroo because you want to have good posture. You don't want to bend over at your waist. And then the alligator mouth smacks that ball once it hits the glove. 20 seconds left. Glove on the ground. Glove on the ground. Very nice. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Write that number down, and now let's sing the Dance on a Toilet song uh, with a box on our head. Ready? Sumo, sumo, dance, dance. Everybody dance on a toilet while you're holding pizzas. You betcha. I guarantee you didn't wake up today thinking you'd see that. That Dance on a Toilet song brought to you by... Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What's the fourth drill? Soccer juggling. On your marks. Get set. Let's go Puppy Pro. Let's go Fireball. Let's go Firestones. Let's go Catching Kitty and Fitbit. Let's go Judge Jr. Let's go Todd Perry. Let's go Dan Hughes. Let's go Knott's Berry Farm. Let's go Catching Kitty. Who else we got here? Confetti. Come on now. Let's do this thing. Dinger. Elijah the Drummer. Go!
four. How many can you get in a row? One. I got one in a row. Oh. Chest, foot, head, knee, be hunkus. You can use your be hunkus if you want to. Knee, foot, be hunkus. That's three. 15 seconds. Five. Four, three. Stop. Write that number down. Cannonball in Oklahoma City, White Ninja. There we go. Oh. We were going to go to OKC for the uh, softball tournament and run a play ball camp, but that has been delayed. Uh, drill number five, figure eight. That's right. You can use a basketball if you have one. Or you can use a football or a sock or anything in the world. On your marks, get set, go. If you want to dribble instead of pass it through your legs, you can. But you got to keep your bee honkus down low. Got to stay low to the ground. By the way, not as many Monday participants here at class. You guys that showed up on a Monday morning, bicep salute. A lot of people want to sleep in on Monday or do something else. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Not missing any classes. Keep going. We're going to be having a competition soon where we see who can, who can stay for six classes in a row. Who can attend all week long? Six in a row, and then you guys will enter into a fun contest. All right, 10 seconds remaining, figure eights. White Ninja, Idaho, never been, pause, but I love it. What I'm doing is I'm finding uh, new places to go run a baseball camp. Oklahoma City, Idaho, Washington. My dream job is to travel the world and run baseball camps. Mustache salute. Number six is the hula hoop drill. I'm going to do it once again with a box on my head because you kids have earned it. You're working hard. You're rocking and rolling. Box on my head. Figure uh, hula hoops. Go. Can you do more than me? Can you hear me? I always wonder when I got this box on if you can hear me. Swiss directions. Switch. Pause. You've got 10 seconds left. Deep breath in through your nose. Slowly out your mouth. I know your arms are tired, but stay with it. Go. And stop. Very good. Write that number down. I know my parents are thinking, yep, we sent that kid to an Ivy League school so he could get a job twirling a basketball around his waist with a coffee box on his head. That's what they're thinking. And last but not least, the ping pong drill. Firestones have been to every class. Jacob Knoll has been doing every class. Very good. So we'll probably start that competition next Monday. And then uh, it's going to be pretty epic. You're going to want to tune into that. But it is good to see everybody showing up day in and day out. That, folks graph your data. Okay. Uh, for a lot of my third, fourth, fifth graders, you've been, you've been learning that how to graph. You can do a bar graph or a line graph, but I'd love to see some pictures of, of your data. Okay. Scholar salute. If you, 
uh, post a picture and tag me in that. Go! 60 seconds. How many can you get in a row? Halfway there, 30 seconds to go. Switch hands, switch hands. Other hand. Nice. Ten seconds remaining, guys. Ten seconds. Happiness is the key to success. That's right. Kirkland sponsored. Epic. <laughs> they make great coffee. All right. And stop. Write it down. Write it down. And go team meeting pose. So I mentioned this earlier trivia question for a shout out. Who signed this bat? Who signed this bat? And boy, is it a good feeling bat. I've got a lot of bats. This is probably the best feeling bat I've got right here. Bang! Just feels quick. Feels like I can control the barrel. I know exactly where the barrel is. And that way, when I find out where the ball is, then I can put the barrel to the ball because I know where the barrel is. Rod Carew is correct. Firestones, you get a scholar salute. Um, at 3 o'clock today, uh, uh, Pacific time, 6 Eastern, it's usually my Sandlot class. And it's ten dollars per class, and we dig deep into advanced skills. Guess what? Free, F R E E, free. It's a free hitting clinic. So show up, tell your friends. Uh, if you're a, a mom or a dad that wants to learn how to coach, uh, tune in. If you're a player that wants to get better at hitting, tune in. But that'll be on my YouTube channel. Um, I'll also be running Instagram Live on Easton Easton's uh, Instagram handle. So. Free hitting clinic, 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 Eastern. Raise your hand if you'll be there. All right? This is the off season. We can't play games, but, boy, can we get better. We sure can get better at baseball. We can develop our skills. Uh, that's it. I've got my Monday list here. We checked in. We did our stretch. We did our circuit training. We did the seven, and we did two minutes of what a ball player does. So have a great day. Um, I'm going to go walk Aubrey James around the neighborhood, run her around teach her how to ride a tricycle for a little while, and then we'll see you at 3 o'clock Pacific for a hitting clinic. Any questions, folks? Thank you again for the Venmos and the Zells, uh, the donations to this class. That's what keeps it going. Uh, you guys are rocking and rolling, keeping us fed. We're all in this together. Uh, the theme of the week, spread joy. Love you, Mom and Dad. Great job, everybody. Oklahoma City, Idaho, Florida, Penguin and Pickle. Uh, thank you for checking in. I missed your check-in. So salute. Hope to see you at 3 o'clock for our free Sandlot today. It's free. It's a hitting clinic. Uh, there will be a trivia contest every Thursday, joke-telling contest every Friday. Dingers out. At a boy, Dinger. Great job. Dominator, as always, White Ninja. Way to go. You got it, Preeds. Have a great day, everybody. And go check out that article, folks. We're in the uh, LA Times. Our, our class is in the LA Times. So uh, I emailed most of you or I posted it on my social media. So it's a great article. Uh, the Daily Pilot uh, wrote it and uh, LA Times owns them. So read that article. All right, folks. Bye-bye.